Hey guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Puppies, and Everything Gardening. Um, it's a beautiful day again today. Did not get rain yesterday or today. Well, actually there was drizzling yesterday. Um, but it's 76 high today and overnight 62. But Friday night it's going down to 27, 28 degrees. So it's going to be a major shift. And I do feel sorry for all of the plants and insects and birds because they have no idea what's going on around here um, but I've been doing some drawings and I'm not an artist I wish I were I really do um, I'm trying to figure out where to put all these hibiscus these hardy hibiscus I'm gonna give two away and um, I'm just trying to figure out what I have and what I don't well not really what I don't because I'm not gonna buy anymore um, I just don't want to give away one of the varieties I was intending to save um, for a particular reason. So I'm trying to figure out, because all the little tags are gone, I don't know what I've planted and what I haven't, but we're going to plant a few more today. So let's get busy. There's a lot to do. So I changed my mind. I'm going to move these right there. I just expanded my garden bed by about... Mm, two feet and we're going to trim the limbs above this tree and hopefully this will be just enough light for raspberries and this section got expanded quite a bit maybe by three feet maybe another half foot over and then three feet out okay remember we planted this guy uh, I guess last week now this was head over hills a door and then I've got all the clover and grass blend there. And then, look, I changed my mind again about what I was going to do with this bed. I think I'm going to move the raspberries down. And I dug up one of my fragrant uh, tea olives. And I relocated it. It was right there. And now there is a hardy hibiscus there that will take up this whole huge corner when it's fully grown because uh, they get really big let's say five feet tall five feet wide um, so that's where this shrub was and I relocated him and I think I'm gonna like it better um, not only for the aesthetics as far as like um, privacy this would be a better privacy position once these guys take off but um, you can tell the difference between these two plants so the one on the right did not hardly have any protection um, from the tree overhead and you can tell a difference in the foliage color and also the damage that he sustained when we got down to five seven degrees these shrubs really don't like to go below 10. I think they are technically zoned above 8 and I'm like a 7a ish and they can do okay here but this one got quite a bit of damage when we got that cold weather and I've already had him in the ground a um, couple years. He's done fine, no problem. But this past winter, even though we've had a super mild winter, it was just that one storm where we got down so low that it really got some damage. So I'm hoping he um, survives that transplant well and will look more like this guy soon. So even though he was also, you know, in the cold and didn't like that really low temperature, he had some protection. From the overhang of that tree and I think that's why he still looks so good so I'm gonna leave those two guys there I've already got some cone flower just traditional echinacea purple cone flower there in the background may plant a little bit more and then I'm gonna have that hardy hibiscus there there is a hardy hibiscus in this planter but I don't know the name of it it's either starry night or summer paradise or summer carnival but I really think it's either paradise or story night um, I may just leave it in there in that pot so when we get out front I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the other hardy hibiscus um, but this bed I'm gonna keep working on it I'm gonna keep extending um, the grass blend with the clover probably that section all through here and I'm not going to be able to do the whole yard, obviously. Maybe just a little bit here in this front area. And I'm thinking about taking my extra bricks and maybe making a new bed here 
move all the planters and make a bed to kind of mirror this structure I built last summer. Um, I made this L-shaped bed with some extra bricks from our walkway redo. And I think it looks nice. So I may make another L-shape or just a rectangle right here. I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do, pretty sure. So, there's Tonto. He likes to hide back there too. That's another favorite spot. I think I'm gonna get out front. I have two more planters in that same design and color. They're smaller. I think I'm gonna take the hardy hibiscus that are in them, plant them in the ground, bring those planters back here, and maybe, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet, but I'm thinking about putting some of my blackberries in there. Um, Let's go look at something really quick because another hibiscus, not hibiscus, camellia, camellia decided to open this morning and it is so pretty. I love it. This is the one we got at the greenhouse a couple weeks ago um, and I'm so happy we did. This is called fantasy something, maybe Japanese fantasy. It, um, it has a smaller flower than some of the others. It's really cute. Really happy with it. There's some of the pruned off hellebore leaves. But look at how pretty. I have to get back down on the ground again to look at it. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. I love the corabelle with it too. I have one on each side. And now look, my primrose is starting to open. It's yellow. I was hoping it was a different color, but that's okay. I did transplant some columbine back there too. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to do. I've got two different switch grasses that I got on clearance the other day. They need full sun. One's orange, one is red. Um, very beautiful. Then I've got, I put those pansies in the back. I've got this, um, what is that? Oh, Spinderella. That's going to be a gift. Um, this one. This is the Cranberry Crush. Even though it's gorgeous, it's gonna be a gift. Um, the Midnight Madness. I need to figure out somewhere to put this here. This is gonna be a keeper for us. Yeah, okay, what else, what else, what else? Put this somewhere later today. Okay, this is going in the backyard. This is what I got to fix that drainage flooding issue. It's on clearance. Okay. Then, it, what is this? Summer Carnival. Okay. This is mine. I'm going to put this in a planter. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to put that in a full sun location because it has variegated leaves. It's so pretty. So according to my calculation, this one on the left summer carnival that's also the one I just showed you that's a variegated leaf I'm gonna put that in the ground right where it's at maybe go back about two feet this one is either summer paradise or starry night I'm not sure which um, so I'm gonna put that in the ground right there as well so that leaves me with just um, to find a space for Mars Madness. I need to find somewhere to put that. Preferably in a container, but it may have to go on the ground. But look at these wallflowers, aren't they pretty? They have bloomed for me all winter long. Oh, that's Jeffrey. Thought it was a snake or a chickmunk. Oh, look. The Siberian irises are starting to get buds. We're gonna have to do a garden tour soon, guys. So, if I choose not to pot that Mars Madness, we're going to put it right there. Like, well, I've got some Gara there. I've got Gara. I've got this flowering yellow shrub thing right here. This is Rebecca. So, it would have to go maybe about... Maybe where that stick is, or maybe forward just slightly, because it'll get big. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. Or find a way to sneak some more flower pots into the garden. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to go get the shovel. We're going to get those in the ground. 
can see that my grass clover blend came in really well despite you know planting really late late in the fall there are those mystery bulbs from the other day and also I found that in the backyard no idea what it is except it might be something toxic like a foxglove so I didn't want to take a chance I moved it out here because y'all know what Tonto likes to do out there he likes to eat everything right Tonto I made a short this morning about this tree. It's Okami cherry flowering blossom tree. It is stunning. It did not look like this yesterday. Like it was just got, you know, it had buds. And then I opened the front door this morning and look, it is so pretty. I love cherry blossoms. Aren't they gorgeous? I love it so much. They won't be here long, so I need to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy seeing it too. I did put some pictures on Instagram as well. Of course, Jeffrey wants some pets. But look, my wallflowers. Looking gorgeous. There's a bunch of poppies down in there, hopefully growing. So, we're going to put one of the hardy hibiscus right here. I want to put one of the variegated ones. I should have two of the variegated. That's what I'm hoping. And I will put one into that pot. Um... We have, I have my Luna hibiscus in this pot that I transplanted last summer, into last summer. And then we have, I think this one's called Plum Crazy. This is a hardy hibiscus. And then I think this is Rudbeckia here. This is the pretty one, the cherry brandy. There should be a couple more. There we go. There's one. Oh, there's weeds everywhere. I noticed a lot of the chickweeds already starting to flower. So it'd be best if I can find some time and you as well. Get out there and get that. All right, so let's go get that shovel. I think I'll do the scratch test on the bark of this pomegranate. If it is dead, I may take this out and put one of the hardy hibiscus in the ground right here. Um, I hope it's not dead, but my other one died a couple years ago. I have to go get my pruners to do that. Jeffrey, it's okay, buddy. If my calculations are correct, both of these should be the summer, summer carnival, the variegated one. So I want to have one in a pot and one in the ground. Um... There's still a chance that this is, which one was that? I only left the label on one of them, so that's why I'm having a hard time. Okay, so that's Summer Paradise. Okay, Starry Night. So this is either the Carnival or Paradise. If it is Carnival, then the one in the back in the Weave Basket Planter is the Paradise one. I guess we'll find out. Guys, if you watched my last video on planting a hardy hibiscus, I showed you the roots of the one I planted last week. If you look here at the roots of the one here that I just purchased the other day, um, I'm not saying it's dead, but I don't like the spotting that I see on the roots, and it's slightly, I don't know if you can tell, it's slightly spongy that one doesn't look good either so I'm not gonna put this one in the container that I wanted to possibly have available for moving this one I think I'll put in the ground and just see what happens um, if it lives wonderful if not um, you know there's nothing I can do about it no return on clearance plants okay so I'm pretty sure this is the placement I want I've got the cinnamon girl here. It doesn't get super tall, but it will spread out um, horizontally and get wider. And then behind it, we will have our hardy hibiscus. Oh, biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. Yeah, a biscuit. No, hibiscus. Um, and remember, they get four to five feet tall and wide. So if it spreads out over that grass a little, I'm fine with that. Then I'll put another about right, right there. So, um, I guess let's just get busy. You know, now that I'm here, I'm kind of thinking 
Maybe the one in the backyard with the basket weave. Maybe the carnival. I don't know. I hate to take a chance, but I guess I could always buy one. I mean, it's not like the world is going to end, <laughs> end and there's not going to be any more hardy hibiscus, right? So I should just not overthink this. Just get it done. One thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, a year ago, let's see, this is February, so a little over, uh, less than a year ago, actually, I had an asparagus bed right about there. That was my asparagus bed. It was really nice, but it was not going to be HOA friendly, so I had to take it out. And right here was a raised bed, a 4x4 four four raised bed that I would plant, like, at a mama in. Um, it just looks so different to me now. And then I had a bunch of these whiskey bear planters that kind of outlined the whole area. And I would grow tomatoes in there. And now it just looks so different. Um, it just feels so weird to be working this space and know that it looks so different just a year ago. Oh, look at poor Tonto up there. He wants to be over here so badly. That guy's in the ground. And that is the variegated carnival and I'm hoping this is also the carnival but you can see the difference in the root look at that this is a nice chunky healthy root this one's been in this pot for a while um, there's no softness to it it's got a nice pale pretty color and if you clean it up you'll see there's no spots like moat spots like the other one had so we are gonna take this and go put it in a pot right now. It's going to go on that pot on the right, the big one. And I really don't think I have anything in this bed. I see onion and I see snapdragon. So this will be perfect. Okay, he's in his spot. I'm going to go ahead and check on the pomegranate with my pruners and see if we can see any green under the brown uh, coating on the branch. I have a feeling it's dead though, unfortunately. I am so, 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 so happy. Look. Look at that. It's alive. It does not look alive, but it is. I'm so happy. Yay. All right. Let's see what variety this is. I can't remember. Oh. Ball of something. The other one I had was Christine or Christina. I'm not sure which, but it died. So that's great. All right. So this one seems to do okay in zone 7A-ish. Okay. So I put the lilac over there. Um, a container that I'm going to move the uh, woodland flocks into after I divide it. I think that one. Um, I think I decided this one is called Story Night. It's either Starry Night or Carnival, but I'm going to leave it right there, somewhere in this general area. I'll rearrange all this after I mulch. Moved all these planters here. I'm going to put the apple cider pansies. I'm going to divide them first. Put them in front in this kind of little cubby area. I've got two different varieties of raspberries. Don't know what will go there or there. Um, and then I'm going to make this I don't know yet. Um, I really don't know. I, I do have one thing growing. And it's my forget-me-nots. That's it. That's all that's here. There's some hookera back there. Maybe I'll move my camellias back over in this area. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. We'll see, guys. But that's going to be it for today, except for one thing. And let me show you. I told you wrong, wrongly earlier. Um, this is actually what I bought on clearance to help with that moisture control, the damp, soggy grass um, that's here in the backyard in this one corner. So I bought this. It's starting to get some color to it. And I'm going to plant it right here. Like, I don't want to crush any columbine. Maybe like. And it should help soak up some of this. It's made for the shade and it's made for damp areas. Um, 
maybe you know somewhere down the road I'll divide it but it's too small for that now so hopefully next time I show you the backyard it'll look totally different I have decided this is going to be a bricked in raised bed area I'm going to move these right now but um Tonto and I are just going to say goodbye and we will see you next time bye